Part two: Using creative visualization. Ask and it shall be given to you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. Matthew seven seven eight. Making creative visualization part of your life. As you can see from part one, the basic technique of creative visualization is not difficult. The important thing now is to learn to use it in a way that really works for you, that helps you make positive change in your life. In order to use creative visualization most effectively, it's helpful to understand certain concepts and learn some further techniques. The most important thing to remember is to use creative visualization often to make it a regular part of your life. Most people seem to find that it works best to practice it at least a little every day, especially when you're first learning. I suggest that you have a regular creative visualization meditation period for 15 minutes or so each morning when you wake up, and each evening before sleeping. These are the times when it is most effective, as well as the middle of the day if you can manage that. Always start your meditation periods with deep relaxation, then follow with any visualizations or affirmations you wish. There are many different ways that creative visualization can be used, and it's up to you to remember to try them at appropriate times. Conscious creative visualization may mean a new way of thinking and a new way of living. As such, it will take some practice. Try it out in different situations and under different circumstances, and use it as often as you can for any type of problem solving. If you find yourself worried or puzzled about anything, or feeling discouraged or frustrated about a problem, ask yourself if there is a way you could use creative visualization to help you. Form a creative habit of using it at every appropriate moment. Don't feel discouraged if you don't immediately feel totally successful with your creative visualization. Remember that most of us have years of negative thought patterns to overcome. It takes time to change some of these lifelong habits, and many of us have some underlying feelings and attitudes that can slow us down in our efforts to live more consciously. Fortunately, creative visualization is such an innately powerful process that even five minutes of conscious, positive meditation can balance out hours, days, and even years of negative patterns. So be patient. It has taken a lifetime to create your world the way it is now. It may not necessarily change instantly, although it often does. With perseverance and a proper understanding of the process, you will succeed in creating what seem like many miracles in your life. In the following chapters, I give you many different techniques, ideas, exercises, and meditations. Choose the ones that feel right to you and seem to work for you. There are many different levels and approaches to the creative visualization process, and I have tried to include a wide variety of possible practices. In any given situation, one may be appropriate and another may not. Follow the flow of your own energy and use the ones that you feel drawn to. For example, in a certain situation, you may try to do affirmations and find that you simply can't repeat them, or you don't feel they are accomplishing anything. In that case, you might want to try a clearing process, or get in touch with your inner guidance and ask for clarification, or just let go for a while and focus on other things. What works at one time may not at another. What works for one person may not for another. Always trust yourself and your own deepest intuitive feelings. If it feels like you are forcing, pushing, exerting effort, or straining, don't do it. If it feels helpful, releasing, opening, strengthening, enlivening, inspiring, do it. Being, doing, and having. We can think of life as containing three aspects, and we can call those aspects being, doing, and having. Being is the basic experience of being alive and conscious. It is the experience we have when we're fully focused in the present moment. The experience of being totally complete and at rest within oneself. Doing is movement and activity. It stems from the natural creative energy that flows through every living thing and is the source of our vitality. Having is the state of being in relationship with other people and things in the universe. It is the ability to allow and accept things and people into our lives, to comfortably occupy the same space with them. Being, doing, and having are like a triangle where each side supports the others. 
They are not in conflict with each other. They all exist simultaneously. Often, people attempt to live their lives backward. They try to have more things or more money in order to do more of what they want so that they will be happier. The way it actually works is the reverse. You must first be who you really are, then do what you need to do in order to have what you want. The purpose of creative visualization is to connect us with our being, to help us focus and facilitate our doing, to deepen, expand, and align our having. Three Necessary Elements There are three elements within you that determine how successfully creative visualization will work for you in any given situation. 1. Desire You must have a true desire to have or create that which you have chosen to visualize. Ask yourself, do I truly, in my heart, desire this goal to be realized? 2. Belief The more you believe in your chosen goal and the possibility of attaining it, the more certain you will be to do so. Ask yourself, do I believe that this goal can exist? And... Do I believe that it is possible for me to realize or attain it? 3. Acceptance You must be willing to accept and have that which you are seeking. Sometimes we pursue goals without actually wanting to attain them. We are more comfortable with the process of pursuing. Ask yourself, am I really completely willing to have this? The sum total of these three elements is what I call your intention. When you have total intention to create something, that is, you deeply desire it, you completely believe that you can do it, and you are totally willing to have it, it simply cannot fail to manifest, and usually within a very short time. The clearer and stronger your intention, the more quickly and easily your creative visualization will work. In any given situation, ask 